Greetings, viewers. This is going to be a slight detour from the usual NLP stuff that I've been doing at the moment, which I have to say I've been enjoying. I know I'm lacking a lot of views, but I'm enjoying doing it. No, I'm, I'm making this in light of the uh, extended cut DLC, which was recently released. Now, I happen to be in Europe, which means I don't have access to it, but I've watched all of them, and I'm not going to give spoilers here. But uh, I'll say off the top of uh, my head that it's okay, but it's nothing mind-blowing. Um, and I also want to talk about the future of Bioware, um, somewhat, something about Mass Effect, but also in comparison to Bethsaida. Now, before going on, I think we should all remind ourselves. Uh, I have to say I've been disappointed of the fact that, let me finish my thought, that Bioware was almost required to make, to make, to add new components to the endings because of fan disappointment. That should speak for itself. Um, I have been, over the past few years, well, maybe two or so years, increasingly um, concerned about Bioware. Um, now, one thing is, if we look back, I mean, two uh, fairly recent games, Dragon Age Origins and Mass Effect, the original one, uh, they had a level, a level of depth and obviously had had time for development in comparison to their uh, successors. Well, I'll get into that in a second. That most games in bio, that Bioware makes now do not. So let's take, for example, I mean, two, the thing that comes to mind most is how much I love Dragon Age Origin. I was very attached to the characters, the, the role-playing aspects, and so on and so forth. I forgot the exact development time, but it was something to the effect of um, two, maybe even three plus years. Fast forward to Dragon Age 2, which quite frankly was a joke. I think I beat it twice, maybe three times. I just had no connection with the characters. The DLC was eh, okay, but it really just didn't draw uh, catch my attention. Um, and I think that's always a benchmark, especially with a so-called role-playing game. Um, the game mechanics, game mechanics themselves can be fantastic, but if there isn't some in that kind of game, I don't mean an open end, uh, open or, um, sandbox kind of game, which I'll get to in a second. That's Bethesda, but the the Bioware s kind of game that we all, some of us, grew up on, like Baldur's Gate. Well, I was old by then, but that kind of thing. Not that if you don't have characters that that really intrigue you and that suck you in and 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 make you feel some kind of attachment to their story or their involvement in the story, then the game is suffering from something, or is, is, is deficient in something. And I don't think I'm the only person with this opinion regarding, say, Dragon Age 2, uh, which is totally lackluster. Um, so let's go fast forward to uh, Mass Effect. So Mass Effect 1 was really great, although I have to say, I came to Mass Effect through Mass Effect 2. I first played Mass Effect 2, and then I played... Mass Effect 1. The only problem with Mass Effect 1 was the um, the combat mechanics, which of course were improved on, but I felt as the story proceeded there was less and less um, well, less and less role-playing uh, involved. The, the RPG elements degenerated. Um, character dialogues, the level of character depth and interaction degenerated to some extent. Uh, so it was kind of um, a quid pro quo. On the one hand, sort of Mass Effect 2, I mean, even though I, I came Retro, retro, retroactively in a way to Mass Effect One, the original one. I, I bought it after I'd gotten Mass Effect Two and played Mass Effect Two several times. There, there definitely seems to be a transition, a sort of a sacrifice. Um, and I loved, I did love the game mechanics. And most of my videos, and my old videos, are Mass Effect Two videos. Um, and, and it was a lot of fun. It was a fun game. Um, and the story was pretty good, I thought overall, pretty good. Um, the story in, in one was pretty good too, but I, th I just felt the, the, the level of depth and the interaction and all that, there was just a lot more of that. Um, and so I, I imagine they tried to streamline things. I'm going to get to EA in a second. Mass Effect 3, I just found the game rather unremarkable. Um, it's hard to say why. Perhaps because, uh, you know, it was, it was the finale. 
uh, of the trilogy, was the final piece in the puzzle. And yes, the extended cut endings offer some, some, some form of closure, somewhat, some kind of closure. Um, but um, I felt the game was rushed. This is my opinion, of only my opinion. I'm not offering any sense of hostility. It was was rushed. I felt doing the missions. It was just very fast. I don't mean fast paced like the action was fast paced because the actual combat was just ridiculously easy in single player. I mean, it's arguable whether multiplayer is ridiculously easy. It can be, but single player is just a total joke. The insanity, it, it wasn't even insanity. And that's another issue I could complain about, but I'm not really talking about the combat mechanics here. It just felt like everything was rushed. Um, yeah, I mean, the dialogues are okay, kind of a step up from Mass Effect 2, but... So, which kind of leads me to the, I guess, the focal point of, of this little discussion here, this commentary. That being... What exactly has been going on with Bioware? Now, many people have suggested the idea that Bioware, as, as a consequence to suffering or being under the yoke, the unjust yoke of EA, is uh, has resulted in uh, sort of deficient products. Um, I can say for my part that in the future, uh, if I'm a customer of Bioware at all, I will uh, not be buying, say, uh, collector's edition stuff. I will be pretty cautious. Um, I'll let extensive reviews do the talking. Uh, maybe even watch some gameplay of whatever games they put out on YouTube. Might uh, hit up some uh, acquaintances of mine online, and so on and so forth. Before I actually make a decision, say I'm going to buy this game or I'm going to get this game, um, because I don't know if it's EA itself, and it's true that each um, gaming company is beholden to its shareholders. That's just the nature of the beast. But regardless, my main thing, I think, is that not that BioWare lacks talent. They obviously have talent. People on the teams, they have talent. After all, um, it really begs the question, if you go for something like DA Origin, the Dragon Age Origins, which was a really, really great game uh, for most of us. can't speak for everyone. Uh, it had some thoughts. No game is perfect, but and then you end up with essentially what was a piece of degenerate junk overall um, with uh, <laughs> Dragon Age 2. Mind you, made by the same people. Something doesn't add up. So it's very clear to me that the issue primarily, in, in my observation, is production time. That I'd be far more willing to wait two, three, four, five years in the case of Bethsaida for a, a, an extensive, detailed, well-done game. Um, that has constant support in the form of patches and what have you, um, then I would, you know, oh, next year Dragon Age 3 is coming out. No doubt Dragon Age 3 will be announced pretty soon. I mean, they're not going to totally give up the franchise, but who knows? Uh, Dragon Age DLC has been pretty quiet. I haven't heard anything. Um, but I fear that, say, for Dragon Age, uh, you'll have something like an amalgam of what we got with Mass Effect 3. You know, they listened to the fans, but then they sort of didn't. And this sort of rush state of things, this rush state of affairs, I don't see it changing because that's been the trend with everything they've made for the past two, I say, two to three years. That's been the sort of the motto of Bioware. Now, whether or not that's due to EA's yoke, as people uh, are, like, uh, are inclined to believe, I don't know. Um, I'm assuming it has something to do with that. Um, but very clearly, BioWare needs to put more time into development and thought. Once again, let's remind ourselves. Um, the endings, the original endings, were extremely dis disappointing. Yes, the extended cut endings, watch it for yourselves, are all on YouTube. I'm not going to play Mass Effect again anytime soon, Mass Effect 3, just to, so, just to see the endings for myself. So I'll just, I just watch them on YouTube. I watch them several times. Um, yeah, they're, they're pretty decent, they're okay, but like I said, nothing mind-blowing. The fact that Bioware needed to make endings as a, an effort to appease fans, uh, new endings, it's kind of, it says a lot. I think it, in fact, it speaks for itself. Now, many people might say uh, comparing Bethsaida with a, co a company with Bioware is comparing apples and oranges. After all, they com produce completely different games. 
bio or a story driven, uh, limited space, um, and let's say it is world driven, science sandbox games where you can just basically explore and explore ninety nine percent of everything. Um, they both have their advantages. I both like. I like both styles of, of games. However, since Bioware has not been delivering the last two or three years on their part, basically uh, giving us what they, they claim to be their meat and drink, the idea of um, you know, really in-depth role-playing experience, um, for whatever reason, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed, I have to say, and that's why I'm, I'm, I'll be a hesitant customer, if, a, if I'm a customer at all of Bioware in coming years. Uh, the, for whatever reason, um, now there are also theories that they do this for the younger generation to make things more accessible to them. And I'm, I'm old; I'm going on 35, so uh, you know I have a different perspective on these things. I don't know if that's the reason. All I know is that my gut feeling, my and my interaction with the game, say with Matt, comparing Dragon Age Origins with Dragon Age, it just being so involved in the story, uh, it's. Um, it's just uh, then just totally losing the connection, uh, and with Mass Effect, somewhat losing the connection in, in Mass Effect Three. I, I don't know. I, I just I I, I've, I left Mass Effect Three without any feeling of satisfaction. Sadness, yes, because it was all over. But sort of, wow, this is all over. I mean, it. When I finished Baldur's Gate many, many years ago, that is, thrown, thrown a ball, I'm not all the spoiler where, you know, your character ascends to godhood or chooses not to, you have this option, there was a sense of closure uh, that I've not, I've not experienced in most games of, of that sort in many years. And so uh, I, I didn't have that mass effect. It's hard to put my finger on it. I just thought a lot of things could have been done better. Let's not even talk about the poor combat, uh, not the combat mechanics, but how easy it was. I mean, very disappointing in that end, of course. Uh, but So maybe Bethsaida is not living under the yoke of EA, but look how much time they take to develop their games. And, th and then when it comes out, it's, it's brilliant. There are a lot of bugs, but I forgot what patch we're on with regards to Skyrim, 1.6 something. I mean, they... They pump out the patches nonstop. Bethesda rewards the fans and for their loyalty. They give us the creation kit, which, to be honest, I've never really delved into. Um, limited time and all. Uh, maybe one day I'll make my own creations if if, I'm, if I can. But whereas Bioware, I mean, I, I'm I'm sorry to say this. Not only with uh, lack of patches, but if you look at the multiplayer phenomena, another reason. I mean, apart from the, uh, the ra rather impolite discourse that goes on in Bioware forums and the death threats. Um, multiplayer is, is still a mess with regards to connection, connectivity, uh, other issues, bugs. I mean, I had a feeling, and I, I, I voiced this to people I used to play with, that multiplayer, in effect, is it was kind of a giant beta that they released and it just kept on going. It's sort of a, a, a a controlled experiment. They let all the players that had gained access to it and play it just to see how it would go. And no doubt that multiplayer is fun, and that's why I used to play it a lot. Um, but in fact, it was quite addictive to some extent. But there were so many deficiencies and bugs, and you don't see the support. I mean, you had sometimes day two, one, two day uh, disconnects. No one could play. Uh, plus, never mind customer support, it's pretty useless. I have nothing against Indian people at all, but I mean, the lack of communication there, they, they outsource the, um, the customer support, and uh, I don't know. It, 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 I just don't see a, a path uh, forward for Bioware that, that could turn them back on, on the positive path they had been on for so many years. That's just my opinion. Um, I don't hate Bioware. I've enjoyed, I've loved some of their games. I mean, I was very connected to some of the Mass Effect characters, but uh, the, I don't know, it's hard to put my finger on it. Ma Ma Mass Effect 3, because it was the culmination of everything, the fact that they needed to add extra Indians to it to, to make it seem legitimate, uh, you know, it's, 
I don't know what to say anything, if I can say anything more to that. But I think the key lies in production and development time, that Bioware is perfectly capable, very talented people, of writing, of making, game mechanics, all of that stuff, of making a game that uh, really is, is mind-blowingly intensive, that draws you in, but they can't do that in one year, or even two, in my opinion. They need give the next game Bioware three years time develop whatever whatever it is, and I suspect though for the first, it's always the first one in the series that's allowed to be given development time since there's rarely a rush to pump out the next uh, sequel or um, sequence in the series. That's just uh, what I think that whatever comes out next, I mean Dragon Age three, unless it gets bombastic reviews and I and I'm reading, I still, I still uh, peruse the forums, but I don't really post actively Bioware forums. And I'm reading, wow, you know, it's, it's actually really good. Yeah, I'll probably get it, but I can't imagine Dragon Age 3 being mind-blowingly good. And Mass Effect now is, I suppose, is dead for us all. I mean, in one, one shape, or, in one shape, form, or another, Shepard is dead. Whatever ending we, we, we had chosen, whatever has happened, that's, it is the end of his story her story, if you play female, and um, I'm certainly interested to see how Bioware is going to proceed uh, going forward, but I have to say I am very sad, because as much I love Bethsaida and the sandbox concept, I love just this vastness, the landscape, it's just, you just feel, wow, being part of this world, just, it's, it's, a, it's just depth, and then the detail, and it's the, the level of uh, customization, you know, with my orc, I happen to be playing a very specific kind of character, you know, I run around with two-handed weapons, I use alchemy, things like that, I mean, it's just the level of depth and customization, it's just fantastic, I mean, you can, no character has to be uh, similar to another in a way, I mean, you do 20, 30 different varieties, but I have to say, I yearn for that deep sense of connection to the characters in the game, the thing that really just sucks you into the story, um, I, you know, I made a separate video. You can look back in a, about the whole catalyst thing, which I thought was dreadfully inf implemented. It is, it is a Deus Ex uh, construction of the catalyst, and we have to build that. Don't get me started on that again. A terrible, terrible idea. They could have put a lot more thought into that, but they didn't. So I'm interested to see what my viewers have to say about all this. Uh, where do you see Bioware going forward? And um, I mean, do you see it as an issue of development and production time, or lack of it, actually lack thereof, as I do, or something else entirely? Um, so I'm very, very interested in a dialogue with uh, my subscribers. Uh, hopefully get some views on this, because I actually really would like to hear what people have to say. Done, of course, in a civil environment. And you, you can't really communicate on Bioware forums, because uh, people are just going to start showing you the middle finger, essentially, metaphorically speaking. It's just, it's just pointless. Um, but I, I find that the YouTube medium, although not always optimal, but like I said, I, I'm very curious to see what, what anyone who might come across this video uh, has to say about this. Because, you know, I, I have been a loyal Bioware customer, but for me, well, I don't know. It's Like I said, I, I don't know where I stand with them anymore, and we'll see. We'll see what happens in the future. Anyway, um, after this video, more Skyrim LP for those of you who watch. Uh, we're going to probably be finishing up the companion quest line and then moving on to other greater stuff. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for your input, and I'll see you all later.